Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, back at it again with another Minecraft video. And today, we're gonna take a look at my brown supplements. So after Stanford and Columbia, the school that I got the most requests for in terms of reading my supplement essays was brown. So once again, I'm making these videos where I share my college application things with you guys so that you could have examples of things that worked for certain people but obviously everyone's experiences are different, so everyone's applications are going to look a little bit different. With that being said, I still think that it's helpful for future applicants to see examples of the kinds of essays that worked, because I remember when I was going through this process myself, like three months ago, I basically had no idea what to do for my essays, and so I watched a lot of videos about people reading their essays, and I found those really helpful. So I hope that these videos that I'm making can be helpful to you all. With that out of the way, let's get on with the essays. Please briefly elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities or work experiences. 150 words. This is actually the same exact prompt as in my Stanford supplemental essays, and I literally just copied and pasted my essay into there. But for those of you who haven't watched that video, first, watch that video, and second, I'll just read it anyways in case you don't want to watch that video. To win a spot on WGBH's high school quiz show, our quiz team faced off against team after team, making our way to the semifinals. Then, disaster struck. The match felt off. Every time we pressed the buzzer, nothing happened. The other team gained a hefty lead. Then I saw it. Our buzzer's cables were disconnected. We explained the discovery to the show host, Jeff Kinney, my favorite childhood author and now mortal enemy. But he insisted we continue after a half-hearted attempt to fix the cables. Unsurprisingly, we lost. It should have ended there, but our coach wouldn't accept it. Seeing her stand her ground against the big shot producer lit our fighting spirits. We protested and wouldn't let up until they let us redo the match with new buzzers. We won the rematch, then the finals. Now, moving on, will our struggles pay off? Tune into High School Quiz Show to find out. So this essay is very short and sweet. There's not a lot of room to go into an in-depth explanation about your activity. I think this essay should be more action-packed so that it can leave a strong impression on whoever's reading it. And so I wrote about my experiences with High School Quiz Show, particularly with the extra credit competition, which I talked about in my stats video. Something that I did as a sort of creative technique is that at the end, I said, tune into High School Quiz Show to find out which is, I think, pretty clever because it's a TV show. Now that I think about it, it's not that funny. But hey, it worked. At least the admissions officers thought it was entertaining. Brown's open curriculum allows students to explore broadly while also diving deeply into their academic pursuits. Tell us about an academic interest or interests that excites you and how you might use the open curriculum to pursue it. 250 words. In fifth grade, I watched a video about Tim Donor a teenager who spoke over 20 languages. Since then, I've wanted to be a polyglot just like him, conversing with people around the globe. Unfortunately, my school only offered Spanish, but I've self-studied French and Japanese with some success. Through Brown's open curriculum, I'd gain access to courses in 25 languages, ancient and modern alike. I can continue my studies in Korean or pick up Czech. I could even take classes in Acadia, which few other schools offer. Maybe then I can get a leg up on Tim. As I learn to speak these languages, I'll also study the science behind them through linguistics. Beyond just syntax and semantics, I'll uncover how we learn languages. How do children and adults acquire languages differently? How does multilingual education affect brain development? How have languages evolved over time? I'm curious to understand how we communicate because in capturing how we experience the world, language defines who we are. During my time in Korea, I learned that language is a vehicle for storytelling. Through the Korean language, I learned about the country's history, education system, economy, and politics. Most importantly, I was able to form lifelong relationships with people in their mother tongue. As I pursue a career in a global community, I must be able to understand the hearts and minds of people from cultures foreign to my own. My first step is as simple as learning how to say hello. So basically, this prompt is asking about what majors you want to pursue and how Brown's open curriculum can help you accomplish that. So I talked about my interest in learning foreign languages and my interest in linguistics, which is like kind of like the same thing, but it's like a little bit different, but it's like basically the same. 
Anyway, so I just talked about why I'm interested in what I want to study. So for this essay, I did research on the different course offerings at Brown and how those could align to my interests. So I talked about Korean, Czech, and Acadian, which are classes that are offered at Brown. And I also talked about the linguistics department and the different kinds of things that they're trying to study there. So basically just talk about your interests and how you can explore said interests at Brown. At Brown, you will learn as much from your peers outside the classroom as in academic spaces. How will you contribute to the Brown community? 250 words. Through a Brown education, students prepare themselves to better the world in the future. However, they can make an impact while still on campus. Through the College and University Engagement Initiative at the Swearer Center, I'll have the opportunity to work with people dedicated to serving the community. For several months, I've been partnering with a local nonprofit called Bagong Kulturang Pinoy to establish youth libraries in poverty-stricken areas of the Philippines. The books they provide will help foster a reading culture that will set these children up for success in an international community where English is the lingua franca. At Brown, I hope to start my own organization to build similar libraries throughout Southeast Asia. As a Filipino immigrant, it's important for me to give back to the home I left in pursuit of a better education. Many service initiatives at Brown focus on the surrounding community, but few turn their efforts outside the U.S. I hope to change this by bringing a mindset of global service and initiative onto campus because the issues we face in our local communities also exist worldwide. I want to help those who don't have the same educational opportunities as me. With Brown's resources and support systems at the Swearer Center, I can help enact meaningful change. I may not be able to solve third world poverty, but I can help by instilling a love for reading and education in these children. And really, that's all it takes to change the world, education and hope. So for this prompt, it's asking about how you can contribute to the Brown community. And so I chose to take a service oriented approach to it. So Bagong Kulturang Pinoy is the organization I'm doing my senior service project with, which I also talked about in my stats video. I was trying to think of unique ways that I may be able to contribute to Brown's community. And so I settled on this idea of global initiative and service because I noticed that a lot of the service opportunities that they had on campus focused more on the surrounding community. And I figured that this aspect of global service is something that's more unique to me and is something that I could really contribute to the Brown community. So for this essay, my advice is to think about who you are as a person, as you would do for any of your essays, and consider what you could contribute to the Brown community that other people may not be able to, because that's really one way for you to stand out among the thousands and thousands of applicants. Tell us about a place or community you call home. How has it shaped your perspective? 250 words. Sitting on the bus home from a day-long tournament in Boston, I'm tired, hungry, yet content. Looking out the window as my teammates snore beside me, I think, these will be the good old days. I joined my school's History Bowl team unsure of what the club even was. After the first practice, however, I completely fell in love. Now, it's the thing I look forward to the most every week. Accustomed to the usual intensity of my classes, History Bowl is a sweet change of pace. Here, I don't compete against classmates for the highest GPA, rather with them as we study widely and deeply in pure pursuit of knowledge. It's with this team that I feel most at ease. We argue over our favorite books, discuss current events, and make history jokes nobody else would find funny. Whether it's the upperclassmen from years ago or the underclassmen today, I cherish the bonds we forged here. There is nowhere I'd rather be on a Saturday morning than at a history bowl tournament across the state. The results aren't that important. We celebrate our victories, we don't linger on our defeats. I don't need to be the best. I'm just there to have fun. When our last tournament ends, I know I'll miss this community, but I'll never lose this love for learning it has instilled in me. Not everything has to be an intense competition. I don't need first place trophies. Pursuing what I love unfettered is enough of a prize. So for this essay, I talked about my time with History Bowl and how I enjoyed learning for the sake of learning. I think that worked really well because Brown's open curriculum, their whole idea is being able to pursue what you want for the sake of pursuing it. I think that me being able to relate that worked really well. So this prompt asks you to talk about a place or community you call home. So in that way, it doesn't need to be like an actual house. It can be a group of people or a place you go to a lot that means a lot to you. And so you just talk about how that home, whatever that home is, how it has shaped your perspective. I really like this essay because the idea I was going for was that I liked learning about things for the sake of learning them. 
And I think that really went hand in hand with the Browns open curriculum because I think that the whole idea behind it is being able to study whatever you want because learning is cool. So yeah, I think that worked really well for me in terms of my application. And those were my Brown essays. And my hope is that by reading my essays to you guys and giving a little bit of advice that I could have been helpful to you guys along your college application journeys. And to everyone applying to Brown in the future, good luck. So most of the requests I got for reading supplemental essays were for Stanford, Columbia, and Brown. But if there's any other schools that you guys want to hear my supplemental essays from, just leave a comment below and I'll make a video on it because I'm running out of content. And that's gonna do it for today. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe for some more great college related content for the moment. I might decide to branch out at some point, who knows. And that's all for today, folks. So I'll see you next time. Bye.